Thank you, Steph. And here's where we begin. Toronto General Hospital now battling two COVID-19 outbreaks, the latest impacting one of their operating rooms. We are standing by live right now outside of the hospital. Four staff members testing positive, triggering this outbreak alert yesterday. The University Health Network says no patients have been impacted and declaring an outbreak allows the hospital to put in additional safety measures to prevent further transmission. An outbreak also declared at uh, the hemodialysis center last Friday with five staff members and one patient impacted there. Well, everyone's wondering when Toronto and Peel will be moving out of that gray lockdown zone. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to be happening anytime soon, but there is talk of modifying restrictions in our city. Even small steps forward, permitting additional outdoor activities, do not signal that the threat has been reduced to an extent that we can let our guard down when it comes to self-protection. Okay, so a decision is expected tomorrow. Toronto's top doctor, who you just heard from, says we are not ready to enter the red zone, but it is possible that rules around outdoor activities could loosen, which would include some dining and fitness. The top doctor in Peel Region is also in discussions with the province to create that modified grey zone. There's a lot of different pieces that are uh, being discussed with the province, but really a focus on adaptations around the outdoors. Meantime, Peel Region schools considering moving students from in-person classrooms back to online learning until mid-April. The region school board's health unit and the province reportedly meeting next week to re-evaluate the situation. 31 schools are currently closed across the province with over 900 reporting at least one case. And we're going to be talking about this proposal to modify the gray zone restrictions as well as uh, all of these immunization clinics that are starting to pop up in our city. Mayor John Tory joins us for his weekly update and he will be joining in just after seven this morning. Let's get to York Region now where they are moving down that age bracket. They are preparing to vaccinate seniors now over 75 years old. Residents in that age category can start booking appointments at 830 this morning. The region is also opening up its seventh vaccine clinic. It's going to be in Markham, York Region, opening their vaccine portal for residents 80 and older on March the 1st. A new report is out saying many child care centers are closing, close to shutting down permanently, I should say, because of this pandemic. It's an annual report done by the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives, finding the main source of revenue, which is parental fees, all but disappeared when many daycares were forced to close during the first wave. Once centres reopened, they faced a severe drop in enrollment. The report also saying that daycare costs have soared across most of the country as centers just try to stay afloat. A date will be set today to sentence the man convicted in the van attack that killed 10 pedestrians, injured 16 others. The man found guilty earlier this month will be given 10 life sentences for the murders, plus 16 more sentences for the attempted murders. At issue was whether or not he will serve them individually or concurrently. Defense and Crown will submit sentencing proposals today, but there will not be a final decision. And court hearings will begin in the coming days for two Canadians detained since 2018 in separate Chinese prisons. Ottawa has been notified that Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig will have hearings on Friday and Monday, respectively. The Foreign Affairs Minister saying that Canada has asked to attend and the government has not stopped working to free the two men. Their detention has been condemned as arbitrary and linked to Canada's role in arresting Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou on behalf of the U.S. American and Chinese officials. Uh, they are meeting today, I should say, uh, in Alaska. So we'll be following that story. And we do have a pretty big show today, a lot coming up. As mentioned, we do have Mayor John Tory joining us in the 7 o'clock hour. And then later on, Stephanie Henry on a father-son duo using car washes to give back to Canada's autism community. And coming up next, another company giving their employees the option to work from home forever. And this one has something to do with cars. We're going to talk to Mike Apple next.